So I actually started Saturday when I had some family members over and I didn't film anything, but I'll show you what I got now and I'll explain what I'm gonna do. <laughs> Welcome back everybody. It is Monday, May 9th. And today we're going to start messing with the tunnel. So before I started filming, I pushed it up there. I'm gonna drill some holes and I'm basically gonna cut the top of the tunnel open, like fillet it open, and then see if I can get the trans to go back up in there. And then we'll go from there. I'll unbox her. I already unboxed this tunnel I told you guys I got from Summit or Jags or wherever I got it. I'll pull that thing back out and see if it is or isn't gonna work and we'll go from there. But uh, I'm gonna drill some holes, get this thing filleted open and then I'll catch back up with you. All right, got some holes drilled here. I'm gonna go up on top market, cut it out with the chop wheel or the death wheel. And my goal is to just keep opening, opening, opening until the trans goes in and out. Then I'll figure out what I'm gonna do after that. But I don't wanna just hog a bunch of shit out and then go, oh my gosh, that was too much. So little by little and play it safe. you seen I just cut a little and a little and a little and a little and a little until we got this sucker in there and uh, close on a few places the driver's side is cut kind of far back so no issues there may have to do the same on the passenger but I'll show you so kind of close still over here it's real close over here plenty of room um, I sure hope that we don't have to change the back here, this tunnel. I hope that I don't have to modify that. I had to take a time out to help Tim move his Vega. So, you remember the Vega.
Dead battery? Ah. Steering wheel locked. Thought we oh, fixed that, bruh. So I thought we fixed that ignition switch. Oh, shit. It's one of the, it should be a brand new key. Right there. It's a brand new key. Oh my got a brand new key. I hear shit clicking. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't like that when we brought it, was it? I thought that was it all like fixed. There was some drama when we turned it off or something. Something was weird. You want to fuck it? Yeah. yeah. Well, can you get the Vegas started? The ignition switch is sticking again, so we pushed it out. So he did have the key. He had the key hidden. I'm getting old. to get that pump yeah. sucking all the fuel up. It's Tuesday the 10th, and as you can see, we got a bunch of that tunnel cut out. I haven't had a chance to get the new tunnel in there and see how it's gonna be, but uh, Kelly is ready for my stuff, so we're on our way out to Kelly's right now, so we can uh, drop off the rear end, uh, the end pieces, and the braces, so he can shorten it. And then once we get it back from him, Whenever he's done, he, he can tell me what length axles I need. We'll get those suckers ordered. And I need to get with my friend Bob. And we'll get the rear end put together. The spool and all that stuff. And uh, the car will be a roller again. Uh, I'm going to have to get some... I'm going to have to order brakes and all that as well. But I might be able to do that later when the car gets back from the cage. I don't think I need to do it right now. So uh, we're going to get this stuff dropped off and then we might go back to the shop, go back to the house and screw around with that transmission. Okay, it's Wednesday the 11th. I took all my stuff out to Kelly's and he's going to get going on that. Uh, we're gonna unbox this tunnel real quick. I'm gonna set it in there and we'll kind of see what it looks like Like I told you I may order a different tunnel from Summit or one of these guys Just depend on what this tunnel gives me for clearance and all that BS now um, We'll get that done and then we'll talk about something else and then I'll probably do it for this video um, and then next week's video Probably we'll get to where we're gonna try to fit this tunnel in here or order the new one i don't know we'll, we'll see what we got right now and uh we'll go from there 
So this actually came from Summit. T56 Magnum transmission patch kit. So it's supposed to, it's supposed to work for a T56. So let me get it out of here. Hard to do holding the camera. All right, so that's what we got. <clears throat> Let's see, I don't know if it's gonna be big enough. I think that one's gonna work. I think we're gonna be ordering the other tunnel. Another one looks a whole lot bigger. That's what we need. So I don't think that one's gonna work. I kinda unboxed it already before showing you guys and I kinda knew that that wasn't gonna work. It just looks, uh, it's too shallow. We need something that's got a whole bunch more radius just because that's what we need. So I'll probably order the other one and then uh, go from there. I've seen some people like cut where the transmission is and then they'll run like welding rod around and that's how they kind of get what they want um, and then obviously we're gonna need to make something removable whether whether it's the entire tunnel or the back piece where the shifter's at so that we can get this sucker in and out with ease I, I don't want have I don't want to be fighting with anything so um, with that being said I also wanted to talk to you guys about my TIG welder. So as you know, I got that Eastwood TIG welder a couple months back or about a month back. Matt from Speed Connects was over here and needed to weld something. And he told me, hey, your your TIG welder's weird. It's just wide open. It's, there's no, when you let off the gas pedal or give it gas, there's no change. So I thought maybe it was just a setting. I started looking through the settings, got the settings, you know where they should be and lo and behold he's right on or off so this entire time i've been tig welding um it's been i've only had like one blowout in this bar in the back here 
but basically the welder is going straight to whatever amps I got it set at. So if it's set at 80 amps or 115 amps, it's going all the way there. So I call up Eastwood, talk to the lady and I tell her what's going on. And she says, uh, oh yeah, you got the wrong pedal. So I just now today got the right pedal. So I'm gonna unbox this thing. Um, and maybe maybe my uh, welding will get better. Basically, she said I was supposed to have a pedal that had a, a knob on it, and I didn't have that. So For whatever reason, my welder came with the wrong pedal. This is a lot more heavy duty cable here too than the original. So apparently you can adjust your amperage on this as well as a machine. It's a whole lot heavier duty cable too. So I'll have to get this thing cranked up and see how much better my welds get I'm excited to try that but I got some cleaning up to do around here first before I do anything and I wanted to show you guys uh, we got a new puppy May she's come here May be 12 weeks and full of energy she's playing with Bo already so we're trying to get her acclimated she came from a actually Queensland breeder. She's 12 weeks and she's full of energy, as you can see. But she gets along so far all right with Bo. He tries to tries to punk her and bite her and show that he's in charge, but I had to had to had to get another red dog and so you know what you only live once. And the wife and I said, screw it, let's just get another one. My family jokes and says we got a petting zoo over here because we got all these dogs and chickens and whatnot, but uh, animals, I love them. So uh, this video, not as long as my others, but we'll get back here next week and uh, hopefully we'll have the other tunnel uh, shipped and delivered and then we'll see what we can do with that one. So I'll catch you guys on the next video. Thanks everybody for watching. Thanks everybody that's been subscribing. Um, another boring Falcon video, but I'm just gonna keep putting them out there as long as I got stuff to do on this little car. So catch you guys on the next one.